Welcome to the journey with the free spirit. This week we move on to the tower. I would say that this actually is the perceived scariest card in the tarot, in the major arcana. Um, and not a lot of people put a lot of focus on it because they tend to focus on the um, death card. Um, but this to me is the one that seems to instill the most anxiety in people. And what's interesting is you'll notice that this is a paper copy that I printed out because for some reason my tower card is totally gone missing. I have no idea where it is. I've looked everywhere and I cannot find it. Um, so clearly, I, I don't think that any, either myself or my clients, are meant to receive this message uh, as part of my work. I think that people are largely not having quite as many of these experiences as perhaps they did in recent years. I don't know why, but for me and my practice in particular, this card has gone missing. Um, so I want to show you this artwork and we'll come back to this. I also want to show you the Doreen Virtue version, which is very gentle and sweet. She calls it Life Experience with Archangel Shamuel. Really beautiful. And there still is a tower in the back, but obviously it isn't the, the harsh sort of feeling to it. On Doreen's card, the message says... A significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change, time to spread your wings. And I love that message. I love the way she puts this forth. Um, I am going to go back to the, the traditional artwork because this is what this journey is about, is to look at these images. Obviously, not really fun artwork. Um, people leaping to their deaths from this tower that's on fire. Um, but what I found in the symbology is that, um, you know, this card is all about upheaval and sudden change and revelation. Um, these are the moments in our life that really make us like, whoa, okay, I didn't see that coming. Um, but in the fact that the people are falling down head first um, that is suggestive of the fact that it is, it is a spiritual type of realization um, versus kind of moving away from the physical uh, aspects and um, belief systems of this life and more beginning to contemplate a higher consciousness level, um, a, a new perspective, completely new perspective. Um, so certainly it, there's a lot going on here. Um, the flames, there's 22 flames, which represent the 22 cards of the major arcana. Um, the lightning bolt is coming from the heavens to the earth. So meaning divine inspiration, divine consciousness sort of coming in quite suddenly. And it's really about breaking down old thoughts and belief patterns that have you stuck. Those two figures that are falling are supposedly the same ones that were chained in last uh, the last card, the devil. Um, they've chosen to take off those chains and to leap into really a new way of thinking um, that leads to the death, so to speak, of, of that part that, of them that was chained down. So can you see that this is really in actuality not a negative card? This is a very, I, I really think this is the most powerful card in the whole deck. There is a lot of energy here and it really shows a major shift in perspective, in letting go of, th of beliefs that no longer serve you, really stepping out into a new place. Um, Yes, and so these are the times when something out of the blue happens that causes us to, to change. It changes our world. It changes our perspective. And keep in mind, we automatically want to hop to negative things, and certainly that can happen. 
you know, people who get a serious diagnosis or people who have suffered a, an accident or somebody they loved suddenly was gone or these, these things do happen. I recognize that. But keep in mind also that really positive things can make this kind of a shift happen where all of a sudden you get a download of information or somebody points you to a book and you read it and it changes your life. And that was in my journey when I read The Secret, um, which was just the very start of my awakening process, it changed my life. I never have looked at life the same since I read that book. And I now understand those concepts in a different way, but it, it nonetheless changed my whole view. That was a tower kind of moment for me. And I'm sure you can think back on those moments in your life. So um, yeah, you really begin to question things that once felt really solid to you, and now it, it's really not. But notice here, this is a very strong foundation built on rock that's been there for eons of time. Um, and that foundation will always be there for you. The structure may crumble of your thoughts and beliefs, um, and they may change and morph as you are introduced to different kinds of information, but the structure remains the same. So given that, these are the questions I would encourage you to journal on. Um, I, basically a deeper, more profound layer of you is wanting to come forth with the tower energy. And what, what is that um, part of you that that belief structure or some part of your life that might want to be, you might want to take a whole new look at it, or you might have a situation where you've had to look at an aspect of life totally differently. I mean, this is turning your world literally upside down. Um, so what new perspective are you having to consider or are you willing to consider? Maybe there's something that you would like to reconsider and what might be revealed if you were to consider that in a, in a new light. Um, and additionally, with the, with the foundation um, what is the foundation for you? What is this bedrock for you that will, it's a core part of who you are and it will never shift no matter what. It will always be there for you. What is that for you? Because it's good to know what is beneath you to support you even as the earth shifts, even as your experience shifts there's always a solid foundation. So it's nice to know what that is for you. So, and again, I just want to end on this life experience card again. Um, really, the core, when I look at this image, um, and isn't it interesting, this card is not lost. <laughs> Clearly, I mean, the tower message can remain for my clients, but this is the way that I'm going to deliver it. Um, is that it is time to spread your wings. The tower really causes us to take off in a, in a perhaps quite unexpected direction. And that can be really healthy, really healthy, not always easy. But um, what, you know, what are those areas in your life? Or maybe there's something you've been contemplating for a long time and the tower is now kind of calling it forth within you that even though it might be a little scary, really putting your wings out and, and taking that leap to even, or dipping the toe in the water, there is nothing wrong with that. That's what this life is about, is the more you put yourself out there to try things, then new energy is introduced and can come into your experience. And that just, then opens up a whole other set of pathways that you can take. So again, not, not truly a scary card. The image can be sort of scary to look at, but the, the message behind it is sort of a sudden out of the blue event happening or a, a thought that comes to you even from within that makes you question everything. It, it's like it's a whole new day. All right. So 
Next week we're moving on to one of my favorite cards and I hope you'll tune in for that. I'm sure to shine a bright light on all of us after we go through this really metamorphosis change of the tower. Thanks for joining me on this journey. I'll see you next week.